Hey, what's up? It's James. I wanted to talk a little bit about project management in terms of like education. So there are some formal and informal ways you can learn this art. And I would recommend uh, taking some type of training because it just helps you structure your thinking a lot and helps you communicate better with other people that you work with, um, whether they are also project managers or whether they're just engineers or somebody else who you work with in the, in the organization. So there's a couple of main certifications that I'm aware of. So the PMP in the U.S. is like the project management professional. Usually uh, requires some classes, formal classes, and an application, and then a test. So it's something you can do once you've had about three years of experience doing actual project management. So I just put that on your, on your calendar. You know, whenever you get that amount of experience, you can apply. Uh, another thing you can take is SAFE certification, and that stands for uh, Scaled Agile Frameworks, S-A-F-E. The E is silent. But um, that's good because it teaches a structured approach to agile management and also um, not just working in small teams, but working in organizations like big companies, which have a lot of teams who are doing agile, but they also need to connect with the larger goals of the company and the organization. So the, the safe training is good for that. You actually don't need any prior experience in project management to do it. And some companies will offer it as a free training. I got a free training of it when I was at Raytheon. And I was amazed that we went through this whole training and I think I may have been the only person to actually take the test so I could get certified. But I figured if I'm gonna go through all this trouble, I'm going to at least take the test and get a piece of virtual paper so I can show it off to people. Um, and so, yeah, if you can do that, I recommend that too. Also, if there's just some informal training that your company offers, definitely go to that too. I uh, went to an informal two-day training back when I was at uh, Medtronic, and it just helped me understand the things like um, critical chain theory and essentially just knowing how to sequence your work so that you wouldn't interrupt other people and block other people. So that was really helpful. And if you, you know, go to, if you can't do any of those things, there's definitely classes online, LinkedIn, YouTube, Udemy, things like that. Um, it helps to just understand the concepts. And then there's other types of training. I won't go into that here, but uh, it's good just to get a basic knowledge of project management. It's also, if you don't want to go into that practice, it's helpful just even interacting with other teams. And even if you want to go into management or leadership at some other point, you're going to use some of those concepts anyways. So let me know if you have any questions about that, and I will talk to you later. See ya.